Next on BGSU Brain Game, it is Hilltop versus St. John's. I think we better buckle up for a bodacious brain battle beyond belief. Only one team can lead victorious. Who's it going to be? Only one way to find out. BGSU's Brain Game starts right now. And welcome to BGSU Brain Game. It is Hilltop versus St. John's. Let's take a look at our starting lineups for Hilltop, led by Coach Cummins. In slot number one, we have a sophomore, Lindley. Slot number two, a senior, Maggie. And in slot number three, also a senior, Christopher. Now your starting lineup for St. John's, led by Coach Tittle. In slot number one, we have Wyatt, a senior. Slot two, James, a sophomore. And rounding off, number three is Josh, also a sophomore. Welcome to both of our teams. This is BGSU Brain Game, and as always, we start things off with our toss-up round. It goes a little something like this. All questions in this round are worth 10 points. No deduction, I repeat, no deduction for an incorrect answer. So you can play a little bit looser on your buzzers. You may confer before buzzing in, and you can, I repeat, you can steal a question in this round. St. John's, Hilltop, are you ready? All right, here we go. If you go to a website and see the abbreviation FAQ, for what does FAQ stand? That would be St. John's, Josh. Uh, frequently asked questions. Correct. Multiple choice question, after the death of this great conqueror at age 33, his generals carved up his empire and fought over the spoils. Identify this leader who died in 323 BC. Is it A, Attila the Hun? Is it B, Genghis Khan? Or C, Alexander the Great? That would be St. John's, James. Uh, Alexander the Great? That would be correct. C, Alexander the Great. Without this nutrient, our bodies would not be able to digest or absorb food properly. But taken in excess results in weight gain. Identify this nutrient, also called lipids, that aids, that would be Hilltop Lindley. Fats. Fats is what we needed there. Hilltop on the board. Another multiple choice question. He helped farmers and shepherds name this Greek god that looked like a man but had the ears horns, tail, and legs of a goat. That would be St. John's. James. Uh, pan. That is correct. B is pan. Its atomic weight is 140.90. Its atomic number is 59. Its chemical symbol on the periodic table is PR. What is this element discovered in 1885? That would be St. John's, Wyatt. Pesiodirium. We will accept that. Yes, we will accept that. The European headquarters of the United Nations is located in this Swiss city. That would be St. John's, Josh. Geneva. Geneva is correct. Identify the 19th century wars fought between the British and Chinese related to British trade in China. That would be St. John's, Josh. The Opium Wars. They were indeed the Opium Wars. In the sentence, after the building stopped shaking, the room was filled with a deafening silence. Which phrase is classified as an oxymoron? That would be Hilltop Lindley. Deafening silence. Correct. When writing a sequence, we often use a series of three dots at the end to indicate something omitted or that it continues to infinity. What do we call, that would be Hilltop, Christopher? Ellipses. Ellipses is correct. Jump in when you know the number described. Most extreme number on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane scale, that would be St. John's Wyatt. Five. Five is correct. That is all 10 questions in this toss-up round. Let's take a look at our score. We have Hilltop, 
currently at 30 points and St. John's currently in the lead at 70. But stick around, we're just getting started here on Brain Game, the risk and reward round coming up next. Stay tuned. Welcome back to BGSU Brain Game, Hilltop 30 points, St. John's 70 points. Before we move into our next round, we would like to welcome on St. John's side, we would like to welcome Joe. He is our substitute for this round. Looks like everyone else has stuck around, so welcome to our returning players as well. And of course, our new player, Joe, and Joe is a senior. All right, this is the risk and reward round. In this round, both teams, you're gonna receive the same questions. The first nine questions are 10 points a piece, no deduction for an incorrect answer, so you can still play a little bit looser on your buzzers. However, the 10th question is the risk and reward question. We will give you a topic. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments on that topic. If you get it right, you get whatever you risked as points. If you get it wrong, it is a deduction deduction of whatever you risk. That's why they call it risk and reward. However, if you come across the topic and you don't like it, you don't feel good about it, you can simply pass and walk out of the round with the nine questions in your pocket. All right, Hilltop, you're at 30 points. St. John's, you are at 70. You will be sticking around, St. John's. Hilltop, right out this way. Off to isolation they go. All right, St. John's, are you ready for your risk and reward round? Yes. Starts right now. First one is a multiple choice question. Gregor Mendel did many of his genetic experiments on what kind of plants? Is it A? That would be St. John's, James. Uh, peas. They are indeed peas. That was C, by the way. Okay. That's all right, though. True or false, the Celsius temperature scale was previously known as the centigrade scale. That would be Josh. Is that true? true? That is indeed true. It is indeed okay. true. If I have a myocardial infarction, what first aid technique do I hope you know? Uh, it's, uh, this, is a, this is a heart attack, right? So yeah, it's CPR. Yeah, yeah BCPR. Uh, that would be Josh. CPR? Yes, and please do that if necessary. Thank right. you. At 715 miles, the two U.S. states that share the longest border are Texas and what? That would be Josh. Oklahoma. Oklahoma is correct. On what continent would you find the Trans-Antarctic Mountains? Time. Antarctica is what we're looking for. They're not in time, I'm afraid to say. What medieval science concerned turning base metals into gold? That would be James. Alchemy. Alchemy is correct. Again, a true or false, the composer Beethoven was born in the 17th century. That would be Josh. False. False is correct. He was actually born in the 18th century in 1770. Multiple choice question. Identify the simplest amino acid. Is it A, glycine, B, cysteine, or C, aspartic acid? Uh, glycine sounds good. I feel like so, oh. uh, glycine. Let's go with it. That would be Josh. Glycine. A, glycine is correct. What type of sporting event is the Tour de France? Oh, bike racing. Work that would be Josh. Bike racing? Bike racing is correct. Risk and reward time. The topic is ancient cultures. Uh, uh, we'll 30 points. 30 points on ancient cultures. Which ancient culture that ruled part of Mexico and southern Central America used a mathematical system of shells, dots, and lines and was one of the few early civilizations that understood the concept of a zero. Uh, the Mayans? Yeah, I would do the Mayans. Yeah. That would be James. Uh, the Mayans? The Mayans is correct, plus 30 points for you. And that is the end of the risk and reward round for St. John's. It's now time for you. Right. Head off that way to isolation. And let's bring back in Hilltop. Hilltop, come on back in. All right, welcome back, Hilltop, I hope Isolation was wonderful and amazing, uh, but now it's time to get down to business. Hilltop, are you ready for the risk and reward round? All right, here we go. First question is gonna start off as a multiple choice question. Gregor Mendel did many of his genetic experiments on what kind of plants? Were they A, beans, B, watermelon, or C, peas? 
That would be Christopher. C, pea plants. Pea plants is correct. True or false question now. The Celsius temperature scale was previously known as the centigrade scale. That would be Maggie. False. Uh, unfortunately, it is true. It was known as the centigrade scale. She said false. If I have myocardial infarction, what first aid technique do I hope you know? CPR. That would be Maggie. CPR. CPR, very much so. At 715 miles, the two U.S. states that share the longest border are Texas and what? Time. Oklahoma is what we were looking for there. On what continent would you find the Trans-Antarctic Mountains? Antarctica. That would be Maggie. Antarctica? Antarctica is correct. What medieval science concerned turning base metals into gold? Time, alchemy is what we were looking for there. True or false, the composer Beethoven was born in the 17th century. That would be Maggie. True. Incorrect, false, he was born in the 18th century. However, it was 1770. 1770, another multiple choice question. Identify the simplest amino acid. Is it A, glycine, B, cysteine, or C, aspartic acid? That would be Lindley. Uh, glycine. Glycine is correct. What type of sporting event is the Tour de France? Isn't it triathlon? That would be Maggie. Triathlon. Incorrect, it's a bicycle race, a bicycle race. All right, it's risk and reward time. Hilltop, you're at 70 points right now. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments on the topic of ancient cultures. If you like that topic, what are you gonna risk? If you don't like it, you are free to pass. What do you think in Hilltop? Um, yes, for 10. Going for 10 points on ancient cultures. Which ancient culture that ruled part of Mexico and southern Central America used a mathematical system of shells, dots, and lines, and was one of the few early civilizations that understood the concept of zero? That would be Christopher. Mayans. Correct, 10 points for Hilltop. And that is the end of the risk and reward round for you. It's now time to clear our scores and let's bring back in St. John's. Come on in, St. John's. All right, let's see where our teams stand off against each other. St. John's currently stands at 180 points. Hilltop is at 80 points, only separated by 100 points. And coming up next is our category round where questions are worth up to 30 points apiece, and deductions are gonna start, things are gonna start happening fast. Bodacious Brain Battle, it's on its way. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Hilltop 80 points, St. John's at 180 points. Before we move to our next round, we'd like to welcome back to St. John's team in the lineup, in slot number two is Wyatt. Welcome back to the lineup, and welcome back to all of our returning players from the previous round. All right, this is the category round. Power shifts a little bit now to you, our teams. We have six categories in this round. We have questions inside each of those categories that are worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points, but red alert, Captain, that's right. Deductions do start now. So if you go for 25, you're actually risking 25 points as well. There is one double or nothing question in there. Could be a game changer, we'll find out. Uh, you may confer before, I repeat, before buzzing in and you can steal a question in this round. Six categories, you can select anything, anytime, anywhere in there. And Hilltop, you have the privilege of making the first selection. I'll take chemistry for 20. Chemistry for 20 points. Name the most common isotope of hydrogen. That would be St. John's. Josh. Uh, one. We will accept one. Hydrogen one or protium. St. John's takes the control. 
Chemistry for 30. Chemistry for 30. In chemistry, which term that begins with the letter S designates the study of quantitative relationships based on chemical equations? That would be St. John's. Josh. Stoichiometry. Stoichiometry is correct. St. John's in control, stepping on the gas. Chemistry 25. Chemistry now for 25 points. This scientist was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1960 for his method to use carbon-14 to age for age determination in archaeology, geology, geophysics, and other branches of science. Identify this man with the initials WFL. Time. Willard Frank Libby is what we were looking for there. St. John's in control. Uh, chemistry for 15. Chemistry now for 15 points. What is the most reactive non-metal element? That would be St. John's. Joe. Um, sodium. Incorrect. Hilltop, chance to steal. Time. Fluorine is what we needed. Fluorine is what we needed there. St. John's in control. Chemistry for 10. Chemistry, finishing off this category. A monatomic ion consists of how many atoms? <coughs> that would be Hilltop. Maggie? One. One yeah. is correct. Hilltop takes back control. Cooking for 20. Cooking for 20 points. Older recipes for pound cake comprised one pound of, excuse me, one pound each of only four ingredients. The ingredients were flour, sugar, Butter and what? That would be St. John's. Josh. Egg. Egg is correct. St. John's back in control. State nice. facts 30. State facts for 30 points. Identify the U.S. state that is associated with each of the following facts. The highest bridge in the world is located over the Royal Gorge in this, that would be St. John's. Wyatt. West Virginia. Incorrect. In this state, Hilltop chance to steal. Time. Nope, not in time. The Royal Gorge is found in Colorado. Colorado. St. John's still in control. State facts 25. State facts for 25 points. State known as the land of 10,000 lakes. That would be St. John's. Josh. Minnesota. Minnesota is correct. St. John's in control. State facts 20. State facts now for 20 points. State where the Battle of Little Bighorn took place. That would be St. John's. Josh. Montana. Montana is correct. St. John's still in control. State facts 15. State facts for 15 points. Home of the Grand Ole Opry. That would be time and that would be Tennessee. Tennessee. Uh, St. John's still in control. Uh, state facts for 10. State facts for 10 points. State that is known as the last frontier. That would be St. John's. Joe. Uh, Alaska. Alaska is correct. St. John's in control. Homographs 20. Homographs for 20 points. I will read the definition, definitions of two homographs, words that have the same spelling but different meanings. Identify the homograph defined. A device to move air in a room or a sports team. That would be St. John's. Josh. Fan. A fan. A sports team admirer. St. John's in control. Homographs, uh, 25. Homographs for 25 points. A steep bank or a cliff or to fool another with one's actions. That would be a bluff. A bluff. St. John's still in control. Homographs for 30. Homographs for 30 points. To plow the land or a drawer for money. That would be St. John's. Josh. Till. Till is what we were looking for there. Correct. St. John's in control. Homographs 15. Homographs for 15. The day, month, and year, or a sweet dark fruit. That would be St. John's. Josh. Date. A date. Yes. St. John's in control. Homographs for 10. Homographs for 10 points. Thin metal sheet used to cover food or a long sword. That would be St. John's. Joe. Uh, foil. Foil is indeed correct. That finishes off 
that category. Next up for St. John's is what? Decade what for 30? Decade what for 30? End of round, end of round. Let's take a look at our score. Currently uh, with 90 points is Hilltop and at 335 is St. John's Jesuit. Stay tuned, it's coming up next is our brainstorm round. Questions worth 20 points apiece. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Hilltop is at 90 points. St. John's is at 335 points. Before we go into our next round, though, we have a little bit of a shuffle deck for St. John's. Uh, returning is James, a sophomore in slot number two. And in slot number one is Eddie joining us for the first time. And Eddie is a senior. This is the brainstorm round. Now in this round, all questions are worth 20 points a piece, negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. You can still confer before buzzing in, not after. But here's the big change in this round. We move immediately to the next question. No stealing, I repeat, no stealing in this round. St. John's, Hilltop, are you ready for some brainstorm? Yes. Starts right now. Brainstorm round. What common chemical is called the universal solvent? That would be Hilltop, Lindley. Um, H2O. H2O or water is correct. What do we call a fracture in which part of the broken bone protrudes? St. John's, Josh. Compound fracture. Compound fracture is correct through the skin. In which state is the Richard M. Nixon Presidential Library? That would be St. John's, James. Uh, California. California is correct. This tree or shrub is grown in a pot and trimmed in order to remain, that would be Hilltop, Lindley. A bonsai tree. Bonsai tree is correct. Napoleon was defeated at the Battle of Waterloo. That would be St. John's, Eddie. Um, uh, Belgium. Belgium is correct, that's where it was. Good answer. Name the American abolitionist who led the raid on Harper's Ferry. That would be St. John's, Josh. James Brown. Uh, incorrect, John Brown, John Brown. A turducken is made up of turkey, duck, and what other meat? That would be St. John's, James. Uh, chicken. Chicken is correct. An economist would describe the money, tools, equipment, and buildings that are used to produce goods and services as what kind of resource? That would be St. John's, James. Capital resources. They are indeed capital resources. His tomb was discovered near ancient Thebes in 1922. What child king of the 18th? That would be St. John's, James. Uh, king Tut. King Tut is correct. What kind of rock is basalt? That would be St. John's, Josh. Igneous. Igneous is correct. This folded membrane has a delivery system for enzymes and hormones, moving them from, that would be St. John's, Josh. The Golgi body? We will accept that, Golgi apparatus. What famous composer, conductor, wrote the music for West Side Story? That would be St. John's, James. Uh, John Williams. Incorrect, Leonard Bernstein is what we needed there. Who was the only female prime minister of Israel to date? That would be St. John's, Eddie. Golda Meir. Golda Meir is correct. Which Shakespearean play features the witches chant double St. John's, Josh? Hamlet. No. Incorrect, double, double toil and trouble is from Macbeth. Macbeth. What is the capital of Alberta? That would be Edmonton, Edmonton. Which of the Great Lakes borders four, end of round, four states? That would be Erie. Let's take a look at our score. Hilltop with 130 points. And our winner with 455 points is St. John's. Let's give both these teams a big round of applause. In spirit of good sportsmanship, let's meet in the middle, shake hands, and we'll see you at the next BGSU Brain Game.